since we're not really creating bullet journal setups anymore, we're grabbing the journal and we're just creating four more pages of art. Let's be real, that's all we're doing. But it's a lot of fun. I like creating art and I know you do too. Starting off with a cup of tea as always because I literally cannot function without one. Today we're using acrylic markers and colour pencils. I tend to use gouache with colour pencils but today we're trying something new. Also I've got some packaging paper that I kept and may or may not fit this foam. Rubbing out those lines a little bit because we're only aiming for the one layer of acrylic paint. Since this is mixed media, I really don't want the pencil lines to show through. Like, it's not a look. And we shouldn't need more than one layer. It doesn't need to be super opaque. It doesn't need to be really thick because the pencil might then struggle to go on top. But we just don't want those lines. Since these markers are new, I have no clue how much paint is actually in them. So I don't know if filling big areas like this is going to make them run out really quickly. I'm hoping that it won't, but I guess we'll see. I'll keep you updated. This is the reference that we're using. I took this photo last year on a walk around a village and honestly, I don't know if this was even autumn. I feel like most of the photos I take in Britain could look like they were taken in autumn because it's just so grey all the time. I had to simplify it quite a bit because the original photo has loads of branches and trees, foliage and just kind of mess everywhere and that would make the painting look a little bit cluttered so I removed a lot of the trees that didn't quite make sense. Well they didn't add anything to the painting. On the left page we're drawing a leaf and here's the reference photo. This one was actually taken by me in autumn a couple of years ago. So in case you haven't figured it out by now, the theme for these four pages is autumn. Sadly, summer is over. I say sadly because I'm very sad about it. Honestly, where I live in the UK, we've only had a couple of days of sun. Every other day has been cloud and rain and cold and the heating had to stay on until summer. Because because it's just so cold, so I'm very sad about it. But it is officially autumn, so let's romanticize this season. The thing that I like about using colour pencils instead of carrying on using the markers the whole way through is that the shadows and highlights look a lot more subtle and even though it's completely unrealistic, the colour pencils give those elements that don't look as unrealistic like the wood texture on the trees, the grass, the branches, which wouldn't look anywhere near as realistic if they were painted on with these markers. The lines would look a lot more harsh. And something else I love about this page and the third page too, which you'll see a bit later on, is that they almost look like they could be in a children's storybook. And I love that. I mean, illustrating a book is something I would absolutely love to do, but it feels so unachievable that I haven't even given it much thought. This is a really cute style though, and I'm gonna try and create more like it. I'm adding the month in since this is still technically a bullet journal and the pencils give such a fun playful vibe to this spread. Do you remember that packaging paper I picked out earlier? Well, I've kept this ever since I started the Daily Doodle Diary in January because I'm really enjoying collage. However, ever since then, I've been keeping literally every single piece of packaging that's arrived and now we have tons to get through. But I can't bear to get rid of it because there's nothing wrong with it, it's literally brown paper. I just have a lot. We're moving on to the second page now and this one is a little more simple. Ripping up some of that parcel paper to create almost like a cute frame around this piece. Picking out the orange and yellow shades and we're drawing a pumpkin. Unfortunately, my camera switched off so you missed a lot of it, but it doesn't happen again. We're just going to add some cute leaves around the outside and a calendar, the signature autumn washi tape, and I think there's space for a few stickers. Are these not the most autumnal stickers you've ever seen? I almost forgot, but we're now getting those pencils again to add some texture. Honestly, let's be real, it doesn't look like it's done a single thing. Moving on, 
this is the photo. I actually took this photo last year after we did the autumn plein air painting session together. You know, the one where it started all lovely and sunny and then absolutely chucked it down raining and we had to abandon it. Yeah, that one. We saw this rainbow on the drive back and I mean, it's a very autumnal scene, which also means we get to use those bright colors. I'm gonna say it now, the rainbow probably isn't accurate. It was really hard to make out the colors from that photo I took. It was also hard to pick out the colors we needed because the clouds weren't that gray and the sky wasn't that blue. For a pastel set, it doesn't have many pastels. I mean, I guess you could add white, you could mix white if you wanted to. This painting though, I think this painting went pretty well. It's cute, it's colorful, and the gate is a lot more accurate than I thought it would be. That's the part I thought would be hardest, and it was, but I like it. We're adding some dates either side and then going back in with color pencils, just adding a little bit of texture to that gate. These Caran d'Ache Luminance pencils are very good at creating texture because they have this kind of scratchy feel to them. They are quite similar to Neo Colors, really. I mean, it's the same brand. I find the brown shades can easily make things look like wood, though, because of this scratchy look, a bit like Neo Colors can as well. Reaching for the packaging supplies again because we really haven't got through much of the stash yet. And that was a big goal for these spreads putting some in each corner with washi tape on top that makes absolutely no sense. I also picked out these cute autumn themed washi tapes in my art haul because I didn't really have any to use last year. And I mean, I always make full themed content on my channel, so I knew it would be used at some point. Now is the perfect time. I did a full themed sketchbook session before, which I leave down below if you're interested. And that's when I realized I didn't have anything to stick into my sketchbooks for decoration. Since then, we've come far. We have quite a few big hauls on this channel and now I've got a good collection of stickers, washi tapes, paper materials, all sorts of things that we can use for decoration. And I mean, my spreads have become a lot more mixed media just in the last year. We're drawing a mug for those cozy autumnal vibes. It's supposed to be hot chocolate, looks a bit more like coffee, so let's just say it's whatever drink you think it is. I love how fun the title is, I think the pencils worked so well for it. And I'm just adding another tiny pumpkin. These are from references that I actually took last year in Tesco's, okay? I thought it would be a good idea to take some photos for references, and obviously it was. But yes, I did stand there taking photos, holding various pumpkins in the home section of a Tesco supermarket which I guess is Target if you're in the United States. I don't know if you can see it much, but in the bottom corner, I added a jumper, like the arm of a knitted jumper. That one did not go to plan, but it was a quick and easy addition. I then added a couple more stickers and decoration to each of the pages. And there we are, four full inspired pages in a cute and colorful style. Well, this was a lot of fun to make. I really hope you've enjoyed seeing the process. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the final monthly spread ever. Next year, I'm not gonna have a fancy bullet journal like this one. It will be a lot more functional, which will also free up some space each month on my channel for me to focus more on art challenges, sketchbook work, and the Create This Book series. Go get yourself a drink, and I'll see you on Thursday for Peachtober. Bye-bye.